All right, it's Diane and I'm back. I'm going to start working on this fun little journal that I started for Candy. She wanted this handkerchief as a journal cover because it has candy canes on it. So we did this yesterday and um, so this is all, this is a handkerchief, some vintage pom-poms and then another vintage handkerchief inside. I selected these. Um, I got a kit from Tsunami Rose of um, Christmas Ephemera, and it is a huge kit. You get a lot. And somehow I printed it twice, and I think it was working on, I don't know if it was working on printing it out a third time, but I stopped it because there's so much there. I didn't realize it was printing it twice. But anyway, I went through and I pulled out these images with candy canes, so I will use these in the book. This book will have just straight up red and green. Uh, I don't want coffee dyed pages because of the nice pure white handkerchief. And I have a hard time finding uh, the thin paper pads with, with Christmas. I found the heavier cardstock ones and that's not what I wanted. But I did get this one a few weeks ago. It's four seasons, but, <clears throat> whoops, sorry. Um, all the Christmas ones are gone. I took them all out and I coffee dyed them. I used some of the Halloween ones already too. So I coffee dyed the Christmas papers and I used some of them in the one Christmas journal that I made so far this year. But I don't want coffee dyed paper in this journal. So that's out. So while I was looking for Christmas paper, I ended up, getting this one. Um, the Paper Studio papers were on sale at Hobby Lobby half price. So I got the basics and I got Eclectic Remix because they have red and green in them. So this is just dots and stripes and basic designs and they're pretty bright colors. You get quite a few designs in each color and three of each design. So there's a lot there. It's 180 sheets. And then the Eclectic Remix is a little more, uh, I don't want to say grungy because it's not really grungy, but it's not quite as crisp and it's still bright, but it's not quite as crisp in the designs. And I love this. And I think images like this would be really good in bohemian journals. I have heard that uh, boho is offensive to some people and I think I had heard that the word gypsy so I really don't even know what to say when I'm talking about those journals that I make bohemian. I try to say bohemian so could somebody help me <laughs> Tell me what you know about this situation. Look at all the beautiful colors. So what I did was, first I had gone through the Eclectic Remix and I pulled, I pulled um, these, but they're not uh, bright red. So I wasn't sure about them. I love the designs, but I wish they were just a little more red red instead of a brownie red. And um, these are the greens that I pulled. But then I, when I went through the Just the Basics, or whatever that pad is called, I liked the colors of these. So I just pulled out green and red. So I think I'll just use these. I need that one. And it's a one signature book, so I'm sure this will be enough right here with all the other papers I'll be using. I also have Authentique Christmas Pad, which is called Vintage Christmas. And I think I got this from Lots of Bubbles for Me on YouTube, or on Etsy. So I will use one for the first page of the signature, and I'll probably put one near the middle of the signature. So these are the heavier double-sided papers. So those are those papers. Um, I also have... Um, probably some green ledger that I'll use. I have so much Christmas stuff that it, it it's kind of intimidating when you have so many supplies. 
but I have a lot of books to make, Christmas books to make. So <clears throat> what I did was I spread everything out on my bed. My bed is covered in piles of Christmas stuff. I have book pages and books, um, papers and cards and envelopes and ephemera and all kinds of stuff. And the fabric is in here. That's not even out there. That makes it easier for me. I can just go in and pull out what I want for this journal and that way I don't have to dig through everything. In front of me I have my uh, vintage glitter and my box of vintage jingle bells and these little wooden stars that I might paint with my gold um, paint that I just got. Some spangles and stuff. So if I want to use that stuff it's right there in front of me. The digital kit that I decided to use is from TLC Creation Vintage on Etsy. It's a wonderful shop. I have print I have bought a lot of their digitals and I love these designs and there's a candy cane right there. There's a to-do list. And the prices are quite good. I can't remember what they are, but I know that they're good. <clears throat> I do want to, this isn't a candy cane themed book, but I do want to feature candy canes in the book since her name is Candy and there's a candy cane on the cover. I think I'll include a to-do list in there too. I printed two each of the ones with the journaling, the lists. Where does this go? There's a candy cane there too. Candy canes there. Okay, so I have one with green. This is a neutral and I have two red. And that's probably all I need. Except maybe I'll use the bells instead of this one. So we have a variety of images. Okay, so I have four of these. I have probably more than I need of these. I'll probably use four of these pages. And I have two of Authentique. Four, eight, nine, ten. And I'll use, uh, I'll have, I have book pages to put in here. So this is probably all I need for paper. I'll get my ledger paper and my book pages and that'll probably be enough. I'll do 15 pages plus an envelope or something. So that's the paper selection, and I'll be back to see what we're going to do next. Thank you, and come on back.